I'm guessing that, that the Pope, he's got access to multiple billions. With the paintings that they've got, the gold and whatever it is, yeah? It's not liquid money, you see, an awful lot of that. Can't you just sell off that and give to the poor? No, it wants to be Christians. Christians are leaving the religion because there's many contradictions. Your popes and your priests are all paedophiles and Christian. rapists and they kill you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're trying to control the narrative. You're crying like a baby, saying don't talk about our book, when your silly book, all it does is silly. spend its time getting Destroy my faith Christ. wrong. Answer my, wait, 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 wait. Answer my question. Wait, 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 wait. Answer my question. Wait, 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 wait. Answer my question. Answer my question. Tell me one thing the Quran has got right about the Bible. Tell me one. is a Christian knows and pastors know yeah. that if somebody comes into that, their congregation yeah. and even if they, they know that they are a Christian, uh -huh. what they do know is that they're not a member of that church. They're not obliged to give tithes. Everybody, this is, this is known. This is not a gift. Everybody knows this. That's why I can assure you that he didn't expect you to pay tithes. Even if he thought he was a Christian, he doesn't expect you to pay tithes unless he doesn't know the rules. The biblical scripture, right. and I know he does know the rules of the Bible. So that's why I can tell you. If, if, if you explain it, you explain it right now. Yeah. No, I will not understand. Right? Yeah, yeah. I will I'm not understand. expecting you to understand this. I'm expecting him to understand that, and therefore not expect tithes from you. And I know he does understand it, so I know that he does expect tithes. Because, because, from because the way how he said yeah. it. It didn't sound like what how you're saying it right, right. now. Okay. He, he didn't put it in those words. Right. It more or less said like you should be given like ten percent of your earnings. No, that's fine. And, and I'm and I'm thinking to myself, well, if I'm earning like five hundred pounds, he goes, I think he said like after tax as well, of yeah. course. Yeah. So therefore, I should be given like if, so. If I'm taking on three hundred fifty, I should be given thirty-five. Yeah, ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. But but the context is, as I said, even though you don't know it and it's silent to you, the context is if you're a Christian and of this church. Not just a Christian goes and pays tithes to any old church that yeah. you visit. Yeah. If you're a Christian of a particular, you pay yes. tithes based on your location. Yes. Yeah. He knows that. You don't have to know that. I know you know that. Yes. And so therefore, I know that that statement, he, he wasn't applying it to you. That's yes. Right. Yeah. If you tell, if you, yeah. I just so said it right now. What I'm saying is, even though you're feeling the way you're feeling, it's unjust. It's unfortunate that, that you felt that way, but you didn't mean it. But you felt that way based on not uh, Because of the way how he said it. Yeah. And because of the way how yeah. you're saying it, yeah. it's, it's different now. Yeah. If you just said it how you said it. Right, yeah. I I would have felt. I would have, right. I would have come back the next week. Right. But but, but, no, no, because you never said it the way how you said it. Right, so you didn't go back the next week because you didn't want to pay more, is that right? Or exactly. No, no, that's exactly. right. No, no, exactly. That, that, to exactly. Be, to be fair, that's based on your misunderstanding, which is fair. There's no reason that you should have known and, that. You know the thing about, you know thing about yeah. it? I was going to church regularly before. Maybe yeah. not there, but at different ones. Yeah. Maybe like once every two weeks, once every three yeah. weeks. Yeah. Two different ones at all. Yeah. But that literally put me off. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It just made me think. Is this a, a materialistic yeah. type of thing? Now, to be fair, you yeah. were that thought there. But, huh? but you were that thought there based on not knowing, though. Know? It wouldn't be fair to say that he he made you think that you used to be fair. That was, that was your misunderstanding. Based on not knowing, which is fair enough. It wouldn't be fair for you to walk away. He should have made himself clearer. I didn't misunderstand what you're saying. He didn't make himself, you, you've just made yourself clear, so I can right. understand you. Yeah. There's no ambiguity, no grey at all. Right, right. With him, it right. was a massive grey. Well, he, he didn't put it how you put it. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. But he I said, mean, look, you yeah. know, when you come in here, you, this is what you should be paying. 10% yeah. of your earnings. 10% of your earnings. Yeah. He didn't say about, yeah. well, if you're not a member of this. No, he didn't say that. It would have been hard for him to kind of sort of say that in that way because you're one visitor. Because he had in mind just people that are already there and they already know. It would have been but hard no, no, to then, say. Then, it then, he apply to then he should have said, look, if you're a member and you keep coming here as well, this is what you should be doing. Yeah. Then I would have understood. Yeah, but it is an interesting point also. It's, 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 it's an interesting point too. But, but it's good. I'm very, very glad that you told me that. Now, yeah, now yeah, I've, yeah. I've got a yeah. better, yeah. a big picture now. Yeah. Now I fully understand. Yeah. This is interesting because yeah, you give me an example of how you, how you doing. Yeah. You give me an example of how we went to a church and basically, correct me if I'm wrong, he came to the conclusion that based on something that the pastor said, yeah. he was led to believe that he should have paid tithes uh, just right, going right. there. And I'm saying, obviously the pastor didn't mean that, but, but you also said that the pastor should have made it clear. And I'm still trying to say that the pastor, it would have been hard for the pastor to point him out and say, well, that visit over there, this doesn't apply to you when I'm telling everybody to pay tithes. But it's worth a consideration, maybe an example of how a pastor can distinguish because you see the context is that him not be having a church background, not understanding yeah. that when the pastor was speaking directly to members, it didn't apply to him. So don't forget, when it talks to yeah. believers, yeah. there is a certain understanding. So when a non-believer comes in and doesn't have that understanding, he, he wants I wasn't a non-believer, I actually believe. 
But he wasn't. Oh, oh, I, no, I believed. Oh, okay. okay. But, I believed. but you didn't understand, but not on a Christian level to understand that. No, because no, I've been no. to church many, 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 many times yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. And that's the first time, right. the first right. time I've ever heard a pastor actually say that. Okay. But, but, but saying that though, that was the first Pentecostal I've gone to. Right. Before that, I've gone okay. to like normal church yeah, of yeah, yeah. churches, okay. even Catholic yeah. churches okay, as well. Right. No, yeah, yeah, and okay. none of them have actually made a speech like that. Oh, right. And, and, yeah. and, and it made me feel uncomfortable. I thought I was being singled out. Mm. I thought he was looking at me. But because because mm. he made a thing about the dancing business, and I was the only person who wasn't dancing. So I'm sure he was talking about me. No, he wasn't. And then the second time, <laughs> no, 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 seriously, I swear on my life. It was a Pentecostal church, it was a dance. And he was saying that, he goes, look, he said, look, when you're here, you got to let yourself go. The, prob got... the problem is, yes. Mark, we can't be accountable for all pastors. Not all pastors no. will yeah. say everything correctly. No, they absolutely. They make mistakes. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and what I would say to that is, whenever you listen to a pastor, mm. you can do two things. One is you go up to the pastor and say, yes. can you just explain to me what, about something you said? And secondly, yes. get a second opinion absolutely. and go into God's word and reconcile it. Do your homework, do your research. Absolutely. And that's what I would recommend. Absolutely. Because you will get pastors they will say things that aren't 100% yes, correct. Yes, yeah, Or they may be misinterpreted. It happens. Yeah. Or just don't give no thought. A combination yeah, yeah. of things. Just don't give no thought to visitors who might not understand the rest reasons a bit on your part and a bit on yeah. it's a bit on kind of everybody part of it but that's actually sound advice no 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 that, that, that is any passage you that can, is very good advice yeah, but yeah, for me to go up to it'd be like changing his words in no. a way well, he should that's respect i would have thought that, yeah. that. i would have no. thought that way but a should, genuine yeah. christian would respect yeah. that and say thank you for bringing absolutely. that up absolutely yeah you should be welcoming those questions no don't do it in a challenging way just yeah. no no i would have done it in a challenging way no i felt like no matter how i brought it up it would be like i'm challenging his words no, type of thing. It would have been a very bad pass if he didn't take it. Yeah, and like, exactly as long as you right. approach him properly, I've got to. Be, as long Only one. Ten percent on my yeah. own as well. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I would have thought awkward doing that. Yeah. yeah. I understand you. I'm just no, saying I understand that. Saying. But but trust me. Yeah. You know, a pass yes. of worth he sought. Yeah. As long as you yes. approach him properly, would not be offended if you say, exactly. "I'm just trying to ask something." You know, a pass of worth he sought. I can assure you. No, and be, if a pastor's you know, got yeah. a major issue with yeah. this, <laughs> yeah. and he doesn't allow and respect your, yeah. I would go to a different church. Yeah, exactly. There's a pen of so, so yeah. they wasn't wearing like the dog collar or anything. Right, yeah. Okay. No, they'd be yeah. like a suit. Yeah. And all corners of other messengers, yeah. prophets. Because yeah. It's prophesying. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. And yeah. so they're getting the message from yeah. the yeah. Lord at all. Yeah. yeah. So I would say they are very, 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 very different yeah. if you were to go into a church, yeah. England church, yeah. or, 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 or a, a Catholic church, when they're wearing a... You know why I'm saying that? Yes. Because that's my yes. background. What, what is? What is? Pentecostal. Pentecostal? Yes. So, so, yes. Pentecostal? So, yeah. So, so, I, so I know... Oh, wow. uh, yeah. <laughs> I know that right. a pastor worth his sort would not mind you title if it's to be, or, or anything else. They wouldn't mind Does you he say anything about... The, I'm being serious. Yeah. Does he say anything about... If someone's not really dancing, yeah. does, does it... Does your pastor actually say, look, you no, got to be No, no, they would not expect somebody to walk in, a visitor to walk in the church and say you must get in. What they would do is make you feel welcome to feel free to worship if you want to, so that you don't feel left out in the cold, but not to say as in yeah. you, you, you don't look the part because you're not joining us. So be clear, that's what I'm saying. They make you feel welcome. They don't want you to feel isolated. I'm just here, so I'm going to sit in this little corner. So they'll still free feel to work you. They, they won't be specific. Feel free to jump up and down and run around the church. They'll just see free or free to That's work, quite, you know, and sing and, and right. roof. He didn't, no, say, yeah. he, he didn't, he didn't yeah. say you, he, he yeah. said it. Yeah. But yeah. I was the only one who wasn't dancing. Oh, okay. So I, I very yeah. much thought he was talking about me. Yeah, I understand that. And, and then when yeah. he mentioned a yeah. bit about the money, yeah. I thought, yeah. oh, he's having a go at me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, try not to think like that. You just say don't, but no. I'm going to show you. Yeah, 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 sure. When you yeah. go to Pentecost, do you like dance as well? Things like that? Um, me personally, I sing and clap and enjoy myself. Yes, yeah. right. absolutely. Okay. Yeah. No, it's church. No, yeah. see, the one yeah. Yeah. they were like, they were like, no, probably, yeah. probably dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah so, some people do it to different <laughs> levels. Yeah, there's some people. I mean, properly. Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I, Exactly. Right, and I wasn't doing that. Very charismatic, very charismatic. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you mean. No, no, I don't do it to that level. Yes, I know exactly. Yeah, but in my yeah. church, I yeah. have all different types of people. Got people that are very yeah. quiet, yeah, that's that are right. very animated. Yeah. You got all yeah. And, uh, it's, so, yeah. it's interesting though because on both parts, it's, it's just, but you know, try it next time because they, I mean that's another thing as well. Especially, it depends. It's different. Especially if you're thinking of going there, you have to test the waters. You know, the part to respond to certain things that make you. Yeah, but if, if, for example, you, you, you know your your question of inquiry is un unwelcome, you have to question whether you want to be there. You give them you feel comfortable enough. You know, if you feel it, you feel it, you feel it, going somewhere. You know, it's worth. What is great is you're asking questions. Yeah, you're not just accepting what he's saying, which is really really important. Absolutely, which is where we started. No, I didn't ask. I didn't ask. No, to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah, you are. You weren't just taking his word. You no. Know, well, that don't make sense. That don't feel right. Absolutely. Yeah, I felt pre I, I, I yeah. felt a bit pressured. Yeah. But I felt pressured to yeah. dance. Yeah. Because I danced when they... When, when we, again, so I had to dance the second time. Yeah. Uh, but I thought it was a bit forced because I didn't want to yeah. do it in such an animated so way. So did you dance, by the way, huh? in that? Did you the dance in that? In the service where he... he I had to because he, he mentioned me. <laughs> <laughs> he mentioned me. So what okay, did so, I do? So, so, what did you, so I had to well, the second was, time. Was he really exuberant or did you just... No, I had to like, you know... <laughs> oh, wow. I, did, I didn't want him... I'm being honest now. I didn't right. want him to sort of like... Right. Say it again the second time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, don't. The second time, no, I would have no, felt no, embarrassed no. and shame, and I yeah, probably would have yeah, just walked no. out. Yeah. So the second time, I I danced yeah. whatever at all. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But um, uh, it, it, you but know, I mean, it goes back to where we started this whole conversation because yeah. we were talking about. It's quite interesting. Really he, for example, he gave me the experience of you know like how we came to the conclusion that there was a God. He said he believed in God. He also um gave an example of a vision he had and then he also said that he doesn't trust man which is I said you yeah. have a strong biblical basis yes. for not trusting human beings yes. as human beings and that your center of trust will go towards God which is a good starting point yes. so I'm saying on that same level on, based on that same with that those same parameters that's not the point. while you're on their premises Everybody so that you know what to do and what not to do and any pastor will say no, they only want you to have a level of comfortableness and not feel isolated. Do it. Not do it. It's like if you go to a gym and you don't pick up the same weights as the guy that you saw in there that might have been there 20 years. Can I ask a question? Yes, yes. Have you ever considered discipleship? Do you know what I mean by that? No, I don't understand. Okay, so what a discipleship is that once you become a believer in God, yes. is to go through uh, a process where you cover all the main tenets of essential doctrine and understanding them and getting them properly explained to you how, how a Christian life needs to be, what are the key elements of a true Christian. And therefore you then have very, very good truths from Scripture that explain to you your path and your journey as a Christian. And that really does qualify a lot of those points absolutely. when you go through yeah. that. That's a very, that should be something every church should offer. Absolutely. But not to. absolutely. And then that, that those would be those areas would be basically fixed up, basically. You know, Christian foundational classes or discipleship classes. Really, yeah. You know, how things are. You know, the structure to everything. Because we don't come under tithing, yeah. but what we do come up come under is the principle of giving. Yeah. We agree that we want to give. Christ talks about not ourselves, about doing things for ourselves, but doing things for others. So doing things for others, doing things for the church, doing things for the body of anybody that needs help, that is giving. And that giving could be in service, could be in financial, could be in prayer, could be in many different ways. And that's the principle that we follow. Mm. So yeah, at times you're going to put your hand in your pocket and give money to the church because the church is struggling. Yeah. But that's And what amount of on something that somebody said directly or indirectly that you understood them to be saying that you should I think if you remember that particular church yeah. then you, you, you go by the rules yes so if, 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 they, if, they, if they say point, yeah. well if they say that you should be given 10 percent shouldn't you be given 10 percent no, i challenge it no so do i that he that he laid out and what he did was this is that he come under the law of love and all the principles of love and the fruits of the spirit and then he does mention some laws of the Old Testament that we should still follow. Yes. But the ones that he don't follow, like the sacrifices, he does not include them. So it's very, very clear about what laws, if any, from the Old Testament still apply today. Yes. Tithing was never, ever mentioned to something to be continued. No. So that's why we know it's not included. Because Christ he makes it very clear ones that will be included. And we only go by what Christ says. Yes. That's, the, that's, your, that's your authority at the end of the day. So at your church where you go to, yeah, mm. does your pastor actually mention anything about tithes? Yes, they do at mine. They do? Yeah. And they mention the amount, did you mention anything about the amount or the percentage? Yeah, the so-called tenth. Yeah. Yours doesn't and yeah. yours does. Well, yeah. yeah, it does in terms yeah. of it yeah. mentions it, but it also explains that yeah. it doesn't apply to us. We're not saying you give 10%. Yeah. It then expands on it saying, we do believe that we should therefore, as a principle, still give to the church yes. because the church is in need. Yeah, you need, it, yeah. And that, the, the church mm, will, mm. will not be able to survive. And sometimes that's... And give what you can, whatever that is. Sometimes that's the kind of trick some as well. Some will give more, some will give less. That I can understand. Yeah. That I can understand and I, and I agree with. Yes. yes. It's, I just feel uncomfortable with the 10%. I agree. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and to be honest, freedom in your face. Yes, so no nothing should be compelling you no. to force you to do a certain act. No. 
that. If he starts to get a little bit over, yeah. overzealous, yes. he can use his power yeah. to kind of force a certain behaviour from you, that is wrong and that's not scriptural. And you know why, as, you, as Ray already said, did the print church needs financially can easily be for supplied for in there. The people with different wage brackets that where one might be able to give two percent, two pound, another one can give the twenty to four whatever needed gas. The principle of the, 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 what is the content of the principle of giving is enough to provide for the church financially without putting down this strict law of ten percent. It is because if he can only give two pound, I might be able to give twenty or vice versa. So it will make it up. So that you know what I'm saying is it will make up to the same amount because I've got to be practical. The church can't live on thin air. You know. Money has to be provided for, you know, different things. But more importantly as well, the, what the money is being used for. Not just to have a lavish building, but to help the community, to help poorer members, different things. So when you think about the things that it includes, it's well worth it. But when you think of, uh, as long as the picture looks right, as long as it's not going, you know, unfortunately, no, no, to, to one person's bank I've got account, to unfortunately. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. just that, from that particular yeah. day, yeah. it made yeah. me think like, you know what, I, I feel uncomfortable mm. giving 10%. Yeah, yeah. And if I've got to come there and give 10% I and mean, I don't really want to, I really shouldn't be here. Mm. I should only give what I feel comfortable yeah, with. And so I stopped. So I stopped going. Right. Okay. And I didn't go to any other churches after that. Mm. And I was going to church before that. Right. But I was never I never knew about the 10% before. So that. would you yeah. say that's ultimately what stopped you? Is that right? It, it was, it was, it was. That was 99% of it. It wasn't that just was not so much, to be honest, it wasn't so much the 10%, it was the way the pastor was yeah conveying that yeah it's see. a kind of false kind of although i think you did misunderstand it yeah, but perhaps uh, to, to be truthful well, i think yeah. you misunderstood well, well, no but, it, but now yeah. what you said now it's, it's kind of different because what, i think what you're saying is you should give what you feel comfortable with yeah that i agree with yeah, yeah. Uh, that i agree with and that is a christian position yeah but I, I don't know how that pastor's got that wrong it's, it's surprising me it, mm. trust me 100 percent. he was saying he said well i know 10 these of your i know these pastors exist because there's lots of pastors no, no, tell them. there's a lot of pastors around that are preaching heresy yeah. they're preaching very ungodly well, from prosperity as well home, yeah. it's unfortunate so mm. you have to be very diligent you have to be very careful about what they're saying and all you can do is go up to them and if they don't yes. respect that and they don't address the issue yeah then then i would recommend you need to leaving. be somewhere else you yeah need to be somewhere else. Mm. Mm. and ultimately as i said really you know apply the scriptures as well by yeah. reading them and see what it says because there's no you know there's no disobligation in the scriptures there isn't the scriptures are quite clear and pronounced on giving what comes from here that's what he says that's what he what, says yes yeah, give freely freely what comes from here so, so the scriptures it doesn't mention anything about 10 percent. is that correct that's right not, not in the new testament not in the new testament. but in the old testament the, it does yeah, yeah. in the old testament there was that law of tithing yeah which which, which comes under the law it comes to the, basically, yeah, the Old Testament. It, it is there in the Old Testament, which doesn't spill over into the New Testament. It doesn't. Because the New Testament, it, that was a particular context of the patriarchs giving a 10%, if you understand that. So, basically. But, so to easily yeah. qualify that for you, yeah. when you look at the New Testament, what is the, the change or the point where things move from the Old Testament theology to the New Testament? What is that one thing that causes the change? Do you know what that is? No. It's when Christ instills his law and that law begins at his death so the point yes. that he dies his Christian law comes into place he calls it the new covenant it's where we do not come under the law of Moses we do not come under the law of Abraham we do not come under the law of whatever prophets beforehand we come under the law of Christ and the Christ talks about a new law Amen. where the principles of are he's applying but it's through the relationship of love giving uh, it's right. going to others that you do helping what you your want neighbor. to yourself, that's helping right. your neighbour. It's all that kind of Absolutely. service to others. And that's what it's all about. And it doesn't it doesn't go beyond that to say, here's the detail exactly how you do that. Mm. It doesn't. No, it's down to it. you like, how no. you want to uh, achieve that. There's many, many ways that you could be a loving, giving person. Yes. And no one should be telling you precisely how you go about doing that. And it's not that hard. I mean, take for example the 10%. What if I'm making a million pounds a month and I can give what way to pass it at 10%? You see the logic in it. You know, but the 10% is based on what you're earning. For example, out of 100, you pay 10 for example. And I, but I think you mentioned after tax as well. You give 10% of your, of your earnings yeah. after tax. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm sure you actually mentioned that because I thought to myself, that's a bit. Much. <laughs> you can also see the nonsense of it because for some yeah. people, 10% is a lot. And for others, it's nothing. It's nothing. That's what I'm saying. It might be pennies. The, the, 
ten percent might be penny depending on how much make. I might be interested in the year. Do you guys on ten million a year? Yeah. He's giving away one million. He's still got his nine million. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> He's going to be very happy with that. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so if you've got he, a guy, so he can go and above and beyond. You see, it can be it can be nothing and it can be everything. Yeah. It could be a bread and butter. I'm not going to eat this week, or it could be voice. I can you know I can't see what's missing out of my pocket. You know. Based and then you, on, look, you know, at, yeah. look at the principles of what Jesus yeah. talks about giving. Yeah. Right? What does Jesus say about giving? Give from your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're saying is the New Testament was from Jesus. The Old Testament was before Jesus. Is that correct? Yes. yes, that's right. And the New right, Testament okay. is under grace, under law. Right. So new, Let me yeah. ask you a question because yeah. I don't really know yeah. this. I know the Roman Catholic Church, they've got billions. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. With the, say, Church of England Church, mm. for instance. Do they, are they, 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 they on the same type of level as a uh, Roman? No, 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 not, not, not in wealth, not in wealth. Not in wealth, no, absolutely not. But they've got a good chunk. Yeah, I would say okay, so I'm going a personal question then. Yeah. Do you think they could be doing more to help people who oh, who, who, who are very poor? When I say poor, absolutely. they've got to go to food banks and things like that. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. And so. I have a real concern about absolutely. that. Absolutely. But what can I do? Everyone is accountable for their yeah, own Yeah, individually as well. We can't, we can't cover for everybody. We can't address every issue that you For example, I do my little bit where I can. Yeah. I really do. All you can worry about is yourself and yeah. what you can do as an individual. Mm. No, it's just, it's just that you see a lot of people, like because of a universal know, president as right, well, yeah. a lot of people yeah. now, they've got to be waiting like five weeks before they get... Uh, yeah, yeah, if they get it at all. I yeah, know. And, right. and, and, and so now they'll, they'll yeah. be forced to go to like food banks and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I know, I know. And I'm thinking to myself, you got something like, say the Roman Catholic, they've got billions and billions mm. and billions. Mm. Why should a person who's like really, really suffering... Mm. Although to put, be put, 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 Sorry, put mm. something in the box yeah, yeah. When, they're, when they're actually they're in need. The church should maybe oh, yeah. be helping them out. That's what I've been thinking. True. If you've got billions, help someone out who's got nothing. Although to rather be than giving it to someone who's got billions. Mm. Although to be fair, they are, yes. they, there are individual, you know, in, um, churches, individual like congregations are different. But they are, they, there are congregations that are doing quite a bit charity-wise. They, 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 they're doing quite a bit. I think the churches, yeah, sorry to yeah. come in no, on no, 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 no. the churches are, are operating at a local level, doing a lot of work. Like in yes. South End, for example, there are four different denominations, Christian denominations, working together. So they, it's not making the news, but they are doing it nice no, and quietly, you know? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to yeah. That's what it's, it's very important to know. People as well, the Salvation Army is a perfect example of their time doing, you know, I mean, and I, I mean, pull your socks up level, you know, feeding people on the street, under roofs, in shop, you know, soup kitchens, they are. They, they Salvation Army, are they, are they Roman? Which one are they? What denomination? They're, they're their own denomination. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah. yeah. they're kind of neutral in between. Yeah. Kind of, okay, yeah. I'm going to be controversial now. Yeah. I'm guessing that, that the Pope, he's got access to multiple billions. With the paintings that they've got, the gold and whatever it is, yeah? yeah. It's yeah. not liquid money. You see, an awful lot of that. Can't you just sell off that and give to the poor? Oh, yeah, good yeah. question. They don't even need to do that, to tell you the truth. What they literally need yes. to do is just yes. like going to one of them many... But to be sure, I'm yeah. saying this in the light of... Yeah. No, 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 go on. ...churches yeah. are doing something. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah, 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 they're yeah, not doing yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what they need to do, they don't even need to do that. Sell off their, 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 their sort of what you call their relics. What yeah. they need to do is yeah. go into a particular bank account. Yeah. It's like me having 10 bank accounts. Yeah. Go into one of them of their choosing and take some money out and do things that are kind of more long term yeah. like like maybe residential housing yeah, yeah. Kitchens, i agree with more, you more yeah. i totally agree mm. totally yeah. agree yeah. totally agree one of the things a lot of people aren't aware is like in terms of the, the vatican finances they they take in those um treasures by getting visitors to come into the museums so they, they use that money for what's called peter's pence for example that Peter's Pence is a Vatican charity that helps go around the world and every so often you might hear in the news the Pope gives like a million here or a quarter million there to particular uh, Christians in need for example like for example with after the Iraq war I think the Pope gave I don't know how much a million perhaps yeah, yeah. you know so uh, so it's it, the thing is the Vatican has got has expenses has has proclaimed the, the message but even within that it tries to use the spare money it isn't just the Vatican at the top, it's the local churches and it's, yeah. it's collectively yeah. and that's the church, yeah. you know? And they're independent, I mean they can act yeah. independently. And actually it works better if you do yeah. knowing yeah. the people that need it rather than trying to drop it down from yeah. on high. You know? But shouldn't they be giving away all the accounts, yeah? yeah? Shouldn't they be sort of like giving it to people who are desperately in need? I know, you, I know you said like you should, they should yeah. be sending off their rent because yeah. you're getting people yeah. going to those yeah. museums yeah. or people paying they've got maybe like give it to those 
So, so, the, the, the church don't care about the people. I personally feel like the church is an institution, is a business, um, and they're uh, basically exploiting people's situations to benefit them. I feel like they're the ones who are making the profit, even if you just look at the way they're trying The church is not just a building. Like, just, like like just like Mahmoud. Just like Mahmoud. No, yeah, let's get this out. The church are the members. Wait, hold on. Let's get this out. The church, right, so are, the members, the church are the members, not the building. That's what the church is. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. I couldn't really get the yeah. full people yeah. saying. Yeah. I know, I know, yeah. I know. So if you're looking at the building, no, no, yeah, no, 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 Loans in the Quran. Yes. So if you're going to question our belief, question Allah. Why is Allah asking for a loan? Don't insult our church. It's in the surah. Allah asked for a loan from the believers. He says, if you give me the money, I will give you back more. That's what Allah says. Give me money, and I'll give you back more. If you give the poor people money, Allah is going to reward you. No, no, he wasn't even talking about the poor. That's the meaning. I'm Arabic. That's how I believe it. So you're trying to get revenge? No, no, so that's what this is about. No, I'm not making it. I'm, I'm listening to the debate. <laughs> I just want to um, what we have here is how oh, they wait to attack Islam. No, stop Rather, whining. Stop whining. This is Speaker's Corner. I'm stop not, whining. This I'm is Speaker's not, Corner. Me, can I if you're this? sending it or what? Can I finish this? Is no one enough? They attack no, our book. They that's attack right. our book. You're they sending it. We're still patient. We're still patient. Faith wrong, this and they retain the right to criticize other religions. That's right. Without being yeah. interrupted, so we, that's how you know that you have no respect. Sure you can't because you're scared. So you have to come to you debate. To speak loud in order to debate, you have to give the other side a chance to speak. This is not a debate. This is not a debate. You want to? We have these Christian missionaries, and I'm not saying all Christians, because I know Christian people, genuine Christians. Oh, now you said it. Excuse me. Now you finally said quiet. it. But you weren't saying Christian, it until now. Christian, genuine Christians, you saying are it very humble now. people, very so respectful people. Confused. But this organization, this group, they are being paid by somebody at the top to go out their we're way to attack we're, Muslims. We're getting paid by they don't come here to preach about Christianity. They don't talk about Jesus. They don't talk about the Bible. They go out their way to attack Islam. None of these people are paid. Are you paid? I'm not paid. They try to put Muslims down to make them if you want to make people, but no one's becoming Christian. No one's converted to Christianity. Nobody's converted to Christianity. Okay, when you finish writing, Islam is rising everywhere. More people are becoming Muslim. No one wants to be Christians. Christians are leaving the religion because there's many contradictions. Your popes and your priests are all pedophiles and rapists, and they kill you. Yeah, 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 yeah. They want to call our prophet a pedophile, but your priests rape young boys and they say, Jesus died for my sins. 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 So I can rape a young boy. I can, really, I can take pedophile. young girls as sex cults in your churches, so go away. Which so church? if you want to go and I'm fix other people's house, fix your church. own house first, yeah? Don't no, come here. Excuse me. Yeah? Let's Don't see, point fingers at other people unless your hands are clean. They just come here to cause division. We Muslims, we can't attack Jesus because Jesus is our beloved prophet. We can't okay, attack Allah. Are you going to run after this? this? Yeah? Are you going to stay after you run this? Okay, right. Yeah. Okay, now she's just told pure lies. So she is a perfect example of the Quran. She's the perfect example of the Quran. Your stop, ignorant, stop, stop, stupid stop, book stop. spends all its time it's, getting. It's a stupid book. Can yes, I yes. So right, can, 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 can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Cut off their fingertips. I'm not here. Unbelievers. I'm not here to be. That's what the Quran says. Nine thirty. Yeah, allow me, please. I'm not here to be nice to you. You're in the wrong place. Right. You're <laughs> stupid. Right. 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 They have their manners. They have their manners. Don't be sad. Come on. No, no, no. Right. But in your mind, the stupid, ignorant book had the audacity to get everything about my faith wrong. Everything. Are you going to listen? Are you going to listen? Hudson. Are you going to listen? Are you going to listen? Are you going to listen? See, she's a coward. She's a coward. She's a coward. You're a coward. You're a coward. You're a coward. You're a coward. Right. A stupid, ignorant. A stupid book, a stupid ignorant book, spends all its time getting my faith wrong. The Quran is ignorant. It gets everything wrong. It knows nothing about the Christian faith. It said that the Trinity is Mary and Jesus and God. Ignorant and stupid. That's what it said. That's what it said. That's what the Quran says. And so now, what they do is they moan and cry. They don't want what they, what Muslims are trying to do. You're trying to control the narrative here, and it's not going to work. You're trying to control the narrative. You're crying like a baby, saying, "Don't talk." about our book when your silly book all it does your is spend its time getting my faith wrong it gets it tell me one thing i'm asking you now hold on
hold on. Said, I'm asking you now. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing that your Quran has gotten right. Tell me one thing that your Quran has gotten right. She can't answer. Tell me one thing that your Quran has gotten right. Tell me. So many groups. Tell me one thing that your Quran has gotten right about the Bible. Tell me one thing that your Quran has gotten right. The Quran even the Quran even did. Tell me one thing. Your Bible has been changed. Tell me one thing the Quran has gotten right about the Bible. Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing the Quran has gotten right about the Bible. You're ignorant. Tell me one thing the Quran has gotten right about the Bible. Tell me one thing. She can't answer. I want one thing that the Quran has gotten right about the Bible. Tell me one. Tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. What do you want us to do? You're ignorant. Tell me one thing. Can I go? Can I go into one thing? That's the best you got. 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 Hudson, can I come in? Yes. Thank you, brother. Now she made she made yeah that's what I said let's diffuse it. She made an accusation about Christians attacking the Islam in the sky. She has a right accusation, so no, you've got to be rough with them. They think you're a coward. I'm not a coward. Your other things he caught me, but he didn't. Your other things he caught me, but he didn't. Your Quran says that others caught me to be a coward. I am not your coward, Hudson, and I'm not your footstool. I'm not afraid of your Allah. Your Allah is a cowboy. Well done, well done. And we, we don't. Your Allah is a cowboy. Soul. We don't attack Allah Jesus. Allah is a fiction. We don't, we don't mean. You did Christopher. say there were pedophiles. No. The, the Christian popes. Yes, yes they are. All of them. 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 99% you condemn the Muslim right. grooming gang. So, what, do you what condemn the Muslim grooming gang? Of course I do. Of course I do. That's what I'm saying to you. They're pointing their fingers, but their hands are not clean. Ah, oh, it's all over the country, man. No, it's all over the country. They're coming. Run away. He's running away, man. He's running away. Are you going to answer my question? Answer my question. 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 Tell me one thing the Quran has got right about the Bible. Tell me one. The Quran tells us to acknowledge the injil. That's not what I asked. That's not what they are. That's not what they are. Tell me one thing that the Quran has gotten right about the Bible. Tell me one. That Mary was Jesus' mother. Jesus is mentioned more times in the Quran than the prophet peace be upon him himself. You seen Jesus was the Tell me one thing. Been a bit perverted and Here we go. Tell situation. me one thing that the story? Quran has gotten right about the Bible. Nothing. What? Tell me what? to do with the we faith. Say, to do with my way. faith. Tell me one thing the Quran has got right. It's got right. We don't talk to worship Jesus like you. There you go. She's got nothing. Do not worship. It's got nothing. Jesus. So do what she's trying to do is multiple the Quran gods. comes along do 600 years later. Yeah. Persons. Turn the story upside down, and it's the Quran that's supposed to be true at the bottom of the Bible. So the Bible tells us that Jesus is the Son of God, born of a virgin. Listen, 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 no fighting talk, no, no fighting talk, no fighting talk. No, 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 no fighting talk, no fighting talk. Come on, come on. Why, why? Because you lose, because you lose. Because you lose, I got the room, because you lose. Come on, come on, it's getting too far now. No fighting talk, no fighting talk. Be a typical Muslim. Allah, she can. A typical Muslim. How do you get here about fighting with each other? Yeah. How can you get here? Point you out. Point you out. Say that I'm a Muslim. Point you out. 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 Point you
the people who believe with Allah like the Jewish and the Christian and the Sabian and the Sabian no 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 this is another verse you're not answering I'm reading another verse you're not answering my question you know my question yeah yeah what's my question he said he said he said you are a believer no what's my question no what was my question my question was name me one thing that the Quran says about my faith that is correct what is your faith though? So, exactly. So, Christianity is not even in the Quran. That's my faith. Where is it in the Quran? You don't know. The Quran could not know. It calls in Nasara. We're not Nasara. Nasara is a sect. Christianity is not mentioned in the Quran. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
Now he said that Jesus is a rapist. Muslims keep telling us that Jesus is a prophet of Islam. But this proves that they don't believe in our Jesus. For the, so he does not respect Jesus. So instead of getting caught up saying Isa this or Jesus, let's say how it is. Muslims don't believe in Jesus because they call Jesus a rapist. That doesn't come from the Quran. That doesn't come from the Bible either. So it's good. They get upset when we insult their Prophet Muhammad. But we're not insulting Muhammad. Muhammad raped women. He killed a woman's man and her brother and her uncles and raped her. He walked over their dead bodies and raped her. That is what happened. So when we say Muhammad raped a woman, it's not a lie. This is getting very ugly. Like I said, I think you should finish off your video. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, right. So, the first debate, yeah, yeah, the first guy, the first guy, yeah. I was speaking to a young man over there, didn't get I asked him if he believed in God, he said yes, and then he gave me testimony. He basically said that he started off life by asking certain questions about the universe. He said he looked around him and he looked at the universe and things that can't be explained and it made him come to, as he said, a logical conclusion that there is a God. And so then from there, he went into telling me about some of his experiences in certain churches. And, and, and some misunderstandings, for example, he said he went to various churches and they they demanded, or he seemed to at least understand, that they demanded tithes or some himself in situations where he felt uncomfortable. One example being where he went in and the church was quite exuberant. It was a Pentecostal church, which is my background. So I know exactly what he walked into, you know, and they were singing and dancing, etc., etc. And he felt by what the pastor said that the pastor was telling him to get involved. He said that not everybody here is like, you know, really moving and worshipping and clapping their hands. And he said he looked around and he was the only one not doing that, what the pastor described. So he felt, he understood that the pastor was would not be telling um, um, a newcomer to step in to um, worship in a particular way. Rather, I'm quite assured that the pastor would just make an attempt to make him feel comfortable. Another issue was regarding tithes. He said he put a couple of pounds in and he saw other people paying tithes, a certain percentage, and then he also said he witnessed certain people putting 10 pounds and 20 pounds in and it made him feel inadequate. Again, I tried to explain to him that no, even if you were a Christian, where tithes applies, even if you are a Christian, no particular church or congregation would expect a Christian to come from one church and go to another church as a visitor and pay tithes to that church. Because as far as tithes is concerned, if they are paying tithes, they would pay tithes where they're located, where they congregate regularly and not where they visit as a one-off. So I told him to try and sort of get some under, and I also advised him that one of the best things to do is sort of speak to the pastors, and Ray also said it to him. Maybe speak to the pastor and come to some understanding, because I'm quite sure that the attempt was not for the pastor to make him feel uncomfortable, nor tell him to pay tithes, because even in a Christian context, one would not visit another church where you don't regularly attend and pay tithes there. You are free to pay offerings. But overall, you know, the experience was good. He, he's got a um, kind of sort of religious background to some extent, and he sort of said he kind of sort of believes in God, but he doesn't know if the God was personal. So basically Ray came onto the scene and we're trying to just give him some understanding, some parameters of how to understand church. And one of the examples, because it could have been a mixture in between. I can't say 100% that the pastor didn't say something that may have been untowards, but I'm saying if the pastor was worth his salt, I would not think that a pastor would do anything to particularly make him feel uncomfortable, but rather to make him feel comfortable. But along came Ray and, 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 and also suggested that, you know, to feel free that when he's visiting a church to ask certain questions to come to an understanding. If you feel that the pastor said something directly or indirectly that was relating to him, feel free to go up to the pastor and any pastor that's worth their salt and is versed in the scripture and knows how to lead would be free and comfortable to answer questions to alleviate any fears from an individual. So all around, um, the conversation was good. Um, I gave him some material at one point. Um, Sai was also around who tried to give me some material, he didn't want to take it. At some point afterwards they gave him some material. But the experience was good. Once again, as I said one time before, and only one time before have I been able to say this, this is what Speaker's Corner should be about, where you should reason. He actually came up first asking another Christian brother if he were Jewish, because the Christian brother had an Israel hat on. That's where the conversation started. And then from there we went into some other areas. So overall the experience was good. Once again, this is what Speaker's Corner should be about, to reason. So I left him with some material, just to think. Because at the end of the day, only God can convert or bring conviction to one's heart. But maybe by reasoning and discussing and encouraging people to read the scriptures, they can come to their own conclusion that there is only one way, one truth and one life, which is Jesus Christ.
Thank and you. And then what much. happened afterwards? Uh, and then uh, what happened? Then in, in regard to what? In regards to the Muslim woman. In regard to, oh, in regard, oh, in regard to the Muslim woman, oh, we were talking about, we were actually talking about, again, in the context of the conversation, we were talking about, it, it, was, in the, it was in the theme of tides and how that spills over. So I basically said that tithe as well should be from the heart, should be, free, you know, giving should be from the heart. And I said that rather than being particularly tithe, it should be more, rather more a free will offering and that it can always compensate. Whatever the tithe is being led to, whatever a church or a congregation said that the tithe should do, that money, that same amount of money can easily come from a free will offering. As an example I gave, if somebody gives 20 pounds, you know, somebody else can top it up two pounds, for example. Somebody could top it up with 20. So basically, what the amount of tithes adds up to, it can easily, that same amount of money, that same amount of finance can come from free will offering because different amount of people can give different amounts of money. Again, with the tithes, it can be way above that or way below. You know, because if out of 100 pounds, I have to give 10 pounds, if somebody's making 50,000 a year or somebody making a million pounds a year, they can easily succeed the tithe. They can easily succeed the 10%. It would be nothing for them. So one person, so there's two extreme examples. One person could struggle with the 10% and find that money missing from their pocket. Another person, it could be so easy for them to pay that they won't be able to see where the money is missing from because it's so easy. So that's why I'm saying the thing with tithes is a bit tricky because for one person, it could be their bread and butter that's missing, and for another person, they wouldn't even know where the money is missing. So insignificant would be that amount of money that they wouldn't know it's missing. So I see a halfway in between there. The halfway in between there is a free will offering. As opposed to somebody being forced to give £10, and that sometimes it, the free will leads somebody to be more giving. Because, for example, if you get a bonus one week or something hands one week in your job and you get more money, you might easily be able to match the 10%. Whereas if you lose a job or you lose some finance, you may struggle with that which you wouldn't even struggle with in the first place. So in that context, we're talking about how the churches work. And I guess an example of the um, Salvation Army and certain Catholic churches Contrary to popular belief, local individual churches are doing a lot of work for charity. I can give details of that. I know them. You know, I know the specific statistics. So they are doing lots of stuff in regards to bread and butter, in regards to soup kitchens and stuff like that. In came the Muslim woman at this point and she wanted to criticise and say that the churches are not doing anything. She knows nothing about the church. Ask her the first basic question about the church and she doesn't. I don't even know she knows the Quran. So we were trying to explain that churches do stuff. And I know this. I can give you the details right now of churches, their locations, the pastor that's there, the, the priest that's there, the vicar that's there, and what they're doing. And a perfect example is the um, um, Salvation Army, who doing bread and butter, pull your socks up stuff on the street, soup kitchens, handing out food to the poor in bus shelters, you know, in shop centers. So the church is doing a lot. Don't be fooled. The church is doing a lot. Anybody that says otherwise, of course, can they do more? Of course they can do more. But who matches them? Give me another organization, another group, religious or otherwise, government or non-government, that's doing as much as individual churches. There are none. I challenge you to give me one that's doing more or even matching what the church is doing. So it was in that context that she came along and she wanted to spoil the argument, lower the level of the argument. And then from, from saying that the church is not helpful financially and they're not helpful to the poor and needy, she then went on to talk about pedophile priests and pedophile bishops, etc., etc. I could easily put my hand in that light. Personally, I don't spend my time down here talking about Muhammad was a pedophile. I don't spend my time talking about Muhammad was a rat bag. He was a rat bag and he was a pedophile. But I don't spend my time talking about that. I'm more interested in spending my time talking about um, you know what Jesus has done and how one can come for the truth. So it was in that context she came and tried to spoil the argument. So I just had to put a few things in place because this is an ongoing thing. So my question, and it's a crucial question, was what has the Quran gotten right about the Bible? Because Muslims simply believe things about the Bible and not about the Bible, things about Jesus and not about Jesus, simply because the Quran says so. That's the basis of them not believing that Jesus who he is. That's the basis of believing something about Jesus that is not true. Simply because a 600 year old late book came along and said that he was not Jesus was such and such and he was not such and such. That's their belief. Not based on any research, not based on any intellect, not based on any intelligence. Just simply a 600 year old book came along, got everything wrong about my faith, about the Christian faith, about Jesus, about the Bible and that's the basis of their belief. So my simple question was, tell me one thing and it still is, show me one thing, give me one thing, one thing, one single thing that the Quran has gotten right about my faith. There are nothing, especially in the key areas. There are nothing right. They haven't even gotten the basics right. 
And why haven't they gotten right? Because it's a 600 year old book. There are no eyewitnesses. Nobody saw Jesus. It's always interesting that they say Paul never saw Jesus. But Muhammad never saw Jesus. Abu Bakr never saw Jesus. None of the Caliphs ever saw Jesus. They know nothing about Jesus. Muhammad was dead and buried. You went all the, Jesus was gone when Muhammad came on the scene. Muhammad was dead and buried. Never saw any of the apostles. So there's no eyewitnesses in the whole of Islam. None. So that's why, my, and that's why everything is wrong. Because, and you notice that all the key points of that's wrong about the Quran, it's all from the Apocrypha. Nothing is legitimate. There's nothing legitimately coming from Matthew, Mark, Luke and John or the New Testament epistles. It's all Apocrypha, apocryphal books, blatantly apocryphal books that's been pushed aside. That's where they get the material from. And it's on that basis, it's on a false premise that they're talking about this Isa. Look at the language of Jesus in the Quran. This is not Jesus. This is not the historical Jesus. Interestingly enough, on this point, historians will never refer to the Quran when they're talking about Jesus in a historical context. Nobody takes it seriously. Name me one historian when they're talking about Jesus where they will take this. For example, there's a couple of things that historians agree on. They agree about Jesus that he had 12 disciples and he got baptized. These are key points that key scholars agree on about Jesus. He had 12 disciples and he got baptized and he preached a message. Now when they're referring to an historical Jesus, nobody goes to the Quran. It's a comic book. Look at the language of Jesus in the Quran. This does not sound like Jesus. Oh Allah this, oh Allah that. It's done. Where is? Give me one legitimate word. Why aren't all the Beatitudes, all the beautiful words of Jesus, all the sayings of Jesus that were quoted by the early Christians and the early church fathers? None of them are in the language of the Quran, or the Hadiths, or the Isnads, or the Sunnas. None of them. It's illegitimate. It's a comic book. And that's why historians will not refer to it. Whereas historians will not hesitate to go to the New Testament to get some legitimate information about Jesus in return, in regards to what he said, what his message was, who he hanged around with and where he lived. They refer to the Old Testament, they refer to the New Testament for certain historical facts, not the Quran. Because historians, a serious historian that's worth his salt, know that the New Testament sources are early sources. They're the early sources. The New Testament sources are primary sources and they are worth referring to and they are referred to. Whereas a 600 year old book, by no stretch of the imagination, can a 600 year old book recording on an event that took place 600 years before its time could be considered a primary source. It's not a primary source. It's not a secondary source. It's not a third source. It's no source at all. The Quran is illegitimate. And historians, name me one historian, name me one historian worth this sort that will refer to the Quran for a historical Jesus. I'm waiting. There is none. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.